As always, it's a photo shoot. So Morphe launched a new foundation. It is called the Filter Effects and it is available at Morphe, Morphe.com, and Ulta. They do have a sampler that show all the colors available that you could use to like swatch. You could put them along your face to swatch and see what color you are. But I've already found my color, I think. Um, I got shade 18 and I picked it from here. I swatched shade 17 on my face and it was too light and this one was a little bit warmer. To start, Makeup Shayla is um, the face of the campaign and Danessa Myricks, if you're not familiar with her, she is the creative director and photographer on the campaign as well as the makeup artist. She also does have her own products. Um, this is the Illuminating Veil. I am going to use it in the video um, and you can find our whole list of products at Morphe. It's always quiet all day until I want to film. This ice cream truck hunts my life on a regular basis. So to prime the face, I'm not going to actually use a primer. I'm going to take this to next. <coughs> I guess I can't breathe either. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take a moisturizer and an oil, and I'm going to mix them together to be my primer. And I'm going to add the last pump of this. Mix them together. Probably should have done this with a brush, but whatever. Alright. Let's take a little brush, blend that all up on the face. I do have two spots on my face I like to cover up. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer there let it sit but what I forgot to mention was that there's five categories there's light medium tan deep and dark so once you narrow yourself down to that category then you can pick which shade you want to go through and narrow it down that's kind of 40 shades blend that concealer out before I get started So this is the bottle. So you're supposed to, oh, this is the brush that comes with it. This brush retails for $16, but it is free with the purchase of the foundation, which is only $20. And it says that you're supposed to pump two to three pumps on the brush. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. Now wish me luck. So I usually use my M439 and I'm gonna try something different today. Okay, I don't like it like that. I like to put it on my face because I just do. I feel like the brush eats up the foundation. But I do like the curves to get around like my eyebrows and little places like this. It is medium coverage and it's buildable. So far, I like what I see. My skin looks good, really healthy, really natural looking. Bring it down my neck. I think I did okay with the guests because I didn't swatch this color because it's COVID. You can't swatch. I just went based on the little sample thing. Add a little bit of concealer for brightening. I'm gonna take my Fenty bronzing cream and shape my face.
I like to blend out with a brush first. It got a little too noisy, so I had to make the switch over to the voiceover. But I like to start my concealer with a brush and then I blend it out with the sponge later. I feel like it gives better coverage and a smoother finish. First concealer I used was the Fenty one, that one's super bright. I tone it down with my Tarte a Glow Concealer and I just blend it on top to give me the final finish that I need. This foundation could have been a little darker so I'm just going back in with my bronzer to balance everything out. Coming back to my illuminating bill, take some and warm it up on my hand. hit these under eyes my bare minerals pro set my face whatever is left over I'm gonna take this and press it in this is the Beauty Blender Powder Puff, which is amazing for stuff like that and creating a flawless finish. My favorite Lion King palette, contour palette, and just chisel my face. Too lazy to get a brush, so I'm just using my finger and some powder to contour this nose. So I don't want to get up again. Take my MAC blush in format. Round it out with my face. Taking Anastasia So Hollywood for my glow. Just gonna hit those cheeks real quick. This is my Essence Eyeliner that I use to bring out my molds and my makeup covers up. Yep, that came out bigger than it should have been, but it's here now. For the lips, I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place Cola. Juvia's Place Libra Lipsticks to fill it in. Finish off my eyes. I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24-7 All-Nighter in Zero. Smoke out the bottom. Going to take one of these chocolates to smoke out the bottom lash line. Take my Lancome Edel to complete the look. We're in LA and it's COVID and things have opened up, so I'm actually gonna go outside. So I'm gonna set it with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Put up. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I'm gonna say I like it. I feel like I did a great job on the color. I feel like my skin looks natural, but not too much. Um, I feel like it set well with all the other products and I feel like I'm happy that Makeup Shayla, another black woman, got to be the face of the campaign. I'm glad Demessa Myrix is also creative director of the campaign, makeup artist, etc. If you guys don't follow her, you guys should follow her. I'm gonna link both of them there for you to follow them with that said you guys if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to me already go ahead and follow me for more beauty and hair content on a regular basis make sure that your notifications are turned on 
so that you never miss a video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.